I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhak Radash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect who are the house of David being reborn in this generation, and Shalom to the 130 Yashurala who the Lord has blessed you to get this truth and to wake you up in this end time before the destruction of the coming world. Now, in this lesson, I want to go ahead and uh, um, Apostle Gabar had made a request that we start making. Uh, that there should be a, a series known as uh, this is why we call you the devil and highlighting some of uh, Edom's uh, uh, you know foolishness right some of the things that he does which now are becoming more prevalent uh, in, in the world right because even though Apostle Gabar you mentioned this on a comment board you could see that the spirits going out to uh, to a lot of the very diligent men out there right uh, you know because again just like the uh, past, it tells you in the, in the Bible that the past apostles or the past high priest of Israel, when they said things, it was the Lord who was actually speaking to them. And you see what's happening now is that with this series, along with just all the other things that, you know, uh, these these freaking cops uh, being found for doing unrighteous things, uh, these Edomites, uh, you know, talking shit to people and old little ass Edomite women talking shit to, to, to people. To, to Judites in a waiting room, right? Uh, just, you know, all their wickedness is being brought out, right? So this, along with the, uh, uh, you know, all the other brothers, um, you know, making of the series, hopefully this is going to be, be edifying to the whole body to just show the world the wickedness that these devils try to hide. Because again, these devils, you know, today they call themselves white. Before they used to go off the term Caucasians. But biblically, when you go all the way back, right? Biblically, they're known as the Edomites. And see, in, even, even they're starting to realize that they're the Edomites, right? And we're going to get into that in a little bit, but let me read the scripture real quick. This is Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of, clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? The, though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the star, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Right? And in this book here, Obadiah, which the devil's never gonna gonna read this in his church, nor is he ever gonna explain who who uh, this 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 uh, love letter is to, right? Because again, it tells you here, thus says Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, your power concerning Edom. Now, who are Edom? Edom, when you look through history you look at uh, these these uh, Caucasians own writings they themselves claim that they're the Edomites right not only that but the thing that condemns them most is the spiritual markers which are in the Bible right the things that tell you what the children of Edom are going to be doing right for example here I'll give you here they though it uh, says that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks the Caucasians went up to the Georgia mountains known as the Caucasus Mountains, right? There's even images, and I'll put it in here through post-production, showing these, these clefts in the rocks where they where they uh, fled to after uh, pagan Rome was taken down and, and Jake got up in there and, and started ruling it. And right, that's when he uh, created the Vatican and they, they eventually split it from to the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire and so on, right? But these, these cave dwellers, these Caucasians, fled up north to the Caucasus Mountains where they they regained their, their strength, right? They, for about 1,200 years, they, they, they became low-based people because they almost went into extinction, right? But what happened is they, they came out from them and then starting around 11 to 1,200 during the, 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 the end of the Middle Ages or the Dark Ages, as Esau puts it, they, they started to come back into power. They started to marry, you know, just like, uh, just like uh, Israel did you know, when they took over Rome, they started, you know, getting a little bit of power here, getting into the army, becoming generals, becoming commanders, becoming, you know, uh, senators, and then eventually go all the way up to kings, right? Marrying in. And that's how it, it tells you, right? But um, let me tell you why we call you Caucasians the devil, right? Because this devil here, uh, he, uh, he he falsely thinks that, that uh, this world was given into his hands by his own hand, right? But the Lord tells you, says, and in fact, let me get it real quick. Uh, it's um, Daniel's four and uh, 
17. Let me, uh, see, this is another reason why we call you the devils. You devils have created all these freaking Bible interpretations so that way you can't freaking, uh, find the right one. Here, KJV. Again, if, if you're out there and you're trying to, you're trying to find out which Bible to read, just get the KJV. That's it. Don't worry about anything else. It says, this is the matter, this is, uh, Daniel's 4 and 17. This matter is by decree of the watchers and, and, uh, and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and given it to whomever whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men the basis of men these these Edomites especially this this is this is a base ass man right base man you know when you go out and you buy a car and you get the base model it doesn't have any accessories doesn't have any you know, accoutrements, nothing like that. It's you know you can, it, you know it even it hardly even has you know even uh, hubcaps on it and shit, right? That's what these people are. They they've been given this kingdom to, to make us jealous, right? Because the Lord is punishing us, but now the punishment is over. But let me let me let you watch this video, and you can see this fool's boasting, right? And 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 we'll we'll get into that afterwards. Watch this. Here's another order of business that I want to talk about and go over with you real quick. Um, like I said, I just called into a radio show and kind of put them in their place with the facts like I always do and real shit and real knowledge that doesn't come from your bullshit Google and you say every fact that I read on the internet is not true. So that's fine. We can play that prerogative. But I learned my facts from my lineage and from the people in my family who made and created the history. Y'all don't have that because you're nobody. So again, um, I'm kind of tired of blacks and black people and people of black culture sitting there being convenient. You will not blame your own, which are to blame. The only reason blacks were ever enslaved is because blacks enslaved blacks and sold their own into slavery when the Europeans came. Black men have no backbone, so they didn't stand up to the enemy, the Europeans, and sold their own into slavery. Had you not done that, you might have never been enslaved. That's a fact and the real truth. If you'd like to tell your convenient faggot self something else to feel comfortable, that's why you're a nigger and why we never will respect you. That's why you were owned, because you're weak and can't admit the truth. So again, there's only one truth. It's not up for debate, nigger. That's why you're not in a position of power, and I am. So again, if you cannot deal with the truth, then I have a problem with you. So that's not racism. I want to go over the facts of this situation again. It is not racism nor hate to be proud of who you are and go over and constantly remind these faggot liars of the facts of your situation and what you've done and what you should be proud of. Me coming from a slave-owning family, I'm proud that we won in those altercations and owned these fucking niggers, yes. And if you expect me to not be proud of that and lie with you and say that never happened when it did happen, whether I say anything or not, that makes no sense. So what people are doing in culture is they're calling racism people who are proud of their history and proud of who they are. Fuck that. Be proud of who you are, no matter who you are. I don't care if you're black. You should have something in your culture that you're proud of. The fact that you don't is only because they keep rewriting your history and you can't find what you're proud of. But to not be able to admit what you went through and what happened to you and your losses... You can never win in anything, which I guess is why the black race never wins in anything. Real shit. I don't care if it sounds offensive. It should be offensive. The truth hurts. You got your fucking ass kicked. So what? White people kicked my, at least my blood and my ancestors kicked everybody's ass. And we always have and always will and I always will. So to sit there and be butthurt about it is just bitch shit to me. And then to label that racism or label that something so you can feel comfortable living a lie... That's why I don't respect you. That's why I call them niggers and call. So you see, there's this. So there you have it. That's the, uh, the, uh, the the moles or the, the the bleeding of the goat, right? The freaking, you know, when a goat freaking, freaking screams and shit like that. That's what that was right there, man. This guy is going to be put down, just like with the rest of his people, right? Because let me let me go and get into some of the things he was talking about. Let me let me put him back on camera so uh, we could look at his silly face. Now you see this Edomite. Some of the points he made 
is that he said black sold blacks into slavery. No retard. It was the the true hemetic Africans who were indigenous to that land who sold the 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 what you would call the black Israelites who had been refugees on the west coast of Africa. They wanted them out of there. So when your people, right? And it's funny how he glosses over that truth. He says they did, right? They did this. They see he doesn't want to say we did. Because this motherfucker, even though he's trying to boast and be prideful here, he's still trying to hide himself. Right? And this came from a couple years ago, probably 10 years ago, right? But the thing is, is that the Lord now has it to now that this truth is coming out, his ass is getting highlighted, right? And he's going to eventually see this video and he's going to, and he's going to, he's going to pretend all like he's tough shit fucking talking about, oh, dude, who gives a rat's crap? But he's going to know deep in his heart that he's, he's fucked. He's going to know, he's going to look around, he's going to see all the, the men in Edom are being turned into women. He's gonna see that the the strongest people in, in the Edomite nation are these the women, right? He's gonna see that that the uh, these these fucking bikers and the and the and the fucking bras that he hangs out with, that they're all a bunch of fucking posers, and that they when they come up against a fucking true fucking Israelite in his prime and stuff like that, they ain't got shit to say, right? There's plenty of fucking go to World Soul Hip Hip Hop. You're gonna see ton, ton and ton. Uh, of videos of these of these Edomites getting smacked down for trying to cut in line, talking shit, everything from women to men, and this devil here, as you can as you can see in the comments, right, his ass is already being claimed in in the kingdom, right. In fact, I I, I want to claim this motherfucker and stuff, right. But I know I probably won't get him because I know there's probably a lot high, higher uh, in this truth that have already claimed his ass, right? But I want to get a fucking smack. Let this motherfucker run down a gauntlet. <laughs> All of us have fucking bats and sticks. Take a swing at this fucker, dude. Him and his posterity, right? But the point being is that, again, this guy has no knowledge, right? He just has prideful boasting, right? He says him and his bloodline will, will uh, what he says, he says, uh, he's all, and they keep rewriting your history. It's you, motherfucker. It's you who keeps rewriting this history. Your people, right? Not not so, and, and it's not even people of your same stratosphere. It's the the higher ups, the elites, these devils who rule the world, who have tricked this piece of white trash into thinking he's somebody, right? By making that term white, back in uh, I think it was 1681, right? That where they took all the the, the low rung of the class of the caste the the, of the caste system, and they they brought all the uh, the so-called white, uh, you know trash people out and they gave him a little something and gave him a little power and said hey you're part of us now don't associate yourself with these with these uh minorities right and and pretty soon you're gonna start finding out that this this white privilege that you call it this this thing that you this you falsely claim that you will you will rule and you will always rule your world is coming to an end esau it's over for you all right in this video here there's another edomite here boasting right this is a. This shows you. Let me. I'm gonna put this video on 144 and just look what happens. Look, look, look at the spiritual message that's that's coming out right now, right? You see, the thing is, is these racists, these these. And again, there's nothing wrong with being racist. That just means you're being for your own people, right? But these Edom, these proud Edomites, they're starting to see that that their staff has been broken. Their rulership over the people are, are over, right? Because back in the day, it wasn't even that long ago. Back in the 70s, the 60s, 50s, this guy here could have. Could have simply have said a word, and and the stewardess would have would have fucking, you know, hopped on her heels and and went and tried to found find this uh this Judite lady another seat so that way this this Edomite could not be bothered. But look what happens now, <laughs> and look what ha look what what is said at 144. Right, throw him off the flight. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Your time is over, Edom. I'm not. Wow. So ultimately, this this this, this devil's time is coming to an end. This is Isaiah 25 and 7. 
And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And what is he talking about? He's talking about the, the true biblical names of the 18 nations which currently inhabit the world. Right? And you, you Caucasians, your covering cast is that term right there, Caucasians. Right? But in, in, a, in the Hebrew, it's Adawam. But you would say it, Edom. You, you Caucasians, you white people, you, you, uh, you South Africans, you English people, you, uh, you, you uh, who, uh, where else? All right, they're all over the world. Right? You Edomites have spread yourselves all over the world. With this falsity that you are the everybody else, you, you, uh, uh, you uh, Malachites, you so-called Jews who are not the true Jews, we're the Jews, we're the true Jews, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, right? And Jews really, if you want to get technical, Jew is only the Negroes, right? Only the the one particular tribe of uh, of, of of Israel, the twelve tribes, right? All these covering castes, all these names that that were given to to the people. You know, some people kept kept their names, uh, Ethiopia, the the um, you know. But for the most part, everybody's had their names changed, right? But you can see here, these are the 18 nations, the biblical names on the right, the 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 uh, lying names on the left, right? Of the these are the covering cast which the Lord has been destroying and stuff. This is, and and that whole bullshit, fucking doctrine that the Edomites are done away with is 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 done. It's you know. It's, it's there's there's no end of any of the people on the earth it tells you here in Ecclesiastes 4 16 there is no end of all the people even of all that have been before them right so Edom your ass ain't going anywhere man you're gonna you're gonna sit here and you're gonna you, just like the Israelites who are gonna be awakened to 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 pride and to freaking and, and to rejoicing Edom you're gonna awaken to to shame faced and 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 desolation and then what's going to happen is you're going to say uh this is what's going to happen to you caucasians you you uh edomites this is jeremiah 16 and 19 oh yahweh my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction the gentiles shall come on to thee from the ends of the earth and shall say surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity and things wherein there is wherein there is no profit that's exactly what's happening because look at this look at this I heard the voice of Jesus say you're an Edomite let's watch that again I heard the voice of Jesus say you're an Edomite you see these devils th though because this truth is coming out they're now starting to see that that they are not included in the covenant right and eventually that demon at the front of this video he's go he's going to uh, to realize who he is and he's going to realize his his boasting was all for naught this is Isaiah I mean it's lucky this is Ob Obadiah 1 and 15 for the day of Yahweh Shai is near upon all the heathen as thou hast done it shall be done unto thee they reward thy reward shall be re shall return upon thy own head Right? What did that? What did that? This this idiot say? A proud. He said, coming from a proud slave owning family. A proud slave owning family, right? Get ready for slavery, you devil. Verse sixteen. For as ye have drunk upon the holy mountain, the holy mountain being Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink. And they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Because after a thousand years in captivity, we're going to gather all you Caucasians up, all you Edomites, and you're going to be extinct, extinguished from existence. So says the Bible. Not now, you know, because right now you're at the very end of your, your kingdom. So live it up. Live it up. Have fun. You know, put, you know, charge up your credit cards, you know, go on those trips. Go and, and, and sleep with everybody you, you want to sleep. All those little boys and everything. You dirty, vile pigs. Verse 17. But upon Mount Zion, which is Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. 
and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Right? Everything you Edomites have, we will have. We're going to take from you guys. For all the shit you've done. Taking our land. Calling this your land. Saying we were immigrants. Making our old men and old, old, old women freaking get out of the wheelchairs to cross the freaking border. Yeah, man. You guys are done for, man. Verse 18. And the house of Jacob... And Jacob, by the way, is the southern kingdom, the the, the uh, West Indians, the, the Haitians, and the, what you would call the American Negro, uh, shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph, who are the ten northern tribes, the basic Latinos and native Indians, house of Joseph, a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. Esau being the so-called Caucasian race. that And that includes the, the so-called fake Jews who are in Israel right now, known as the Israelis, who pretend to be us. The, all, all the and all the Edomites around the world doesn't matter if your mom's Asian if you or, or if you're you know so forth if your father goes back to the line of Esau then you're toast right and again and don't get me don't don't get simple right if if your father may look white but his line ultimately goes back to an Israelite right you're need you're you're not an Edomite Right? Because again, this is this is not a color thing. This is a spiritual thing. Because you're going to have a lot of people coming out of every nation, including the nation of Edom, that look white, but they're not white. These are going to be those those Caucasians who are coming out now, as pa pa Apostle Tahar said, that, that are coming out to claim that, that the white people are are Edomites and everything, that the that the house of, of, of Israel are indeed the Negro Latinos native Indians. These, these so-called Caucasians more than likely are going to be uh, confusion of face Israelites. Let me continue. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle them and devour them, and there shall be and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh Bashim Shai hath spoken it. And let me just run down here and it says, and verse twenty one, and the survivors shall come up on Mount Zion. To judge the mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh Bashim Shai's. And there you go. So that right there is your fate, you devil, for talking all that blasphemy and all that that wickedness. This is why we call you the devil. And I'm gonna keep making videos like this, man, because there there are so many damn incidents that that that, sh that have been coming out now. That I'm gonna just keep highlighting them, right? Making them into lessons. So, for that, show the Wada Apostle the Gabar for, for for giving giving us this instructions and and uh, and and, and uh, destruction to to you uh, House of Edom, right? Abath Ababa. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakhak, Rodash. Double honors to my teachers, the Apostle, Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect who are the House of David. Shalom.